morning everybody happy veterans day to all the veterans out there thank you for serving thanks for your service and today I'm back to a, an old school has a lot of rich history here I'm not gonna get into that but if you want to check it out more history check out episode 17 I was here with old 77 in little bro and we did a lot of detecting in here and in the woods but today i'm going to get a little closer i'm looking for coins i got the garrett 400 i got the settings all up just sensing that sensitivity kind of low iron audio off and only three bars and zero discs so i'm going to see if i can find some old coins so let's get hunting from this view you can see how big the old school is this dates back quite a ways. Some of this is probably new addition, but you can see it looks very ominous. I bet there's some ghosts in that building walking around, if you believe in ghosts. But I've been working this area, this field, haven't found much. I don't know where all the coins are, but this is the playground area. Been looking around the old spinning wheel. I don't know, I'll keep trying, folks. It's the first good find today. A spoon. It's right, it was right underneath of these big rocks. And the school is up that way. So I can imagine someone came out here. Maybe had a little snack. Threw a spoon down. Looks like it's gold plated or maybe. I don't know. Let's see what else is under this rock. Stand I've been looking for that new truck that I wanted. Just found this. Oh, right out the back door of the schoolhouse. I don't know how old it is, but I thought it said Bronco too, but it says. Pronto two, P R O N Y. No, P R O N T O two. Hmm. Looks like it's been here for a while. That's the second decent find, I guess. I'm still swinging some from coins. Wishing I can find a silver. Let's keep a gold coin out of the same hole where the truck came out of. Look at this signal. 84, 90, 90. But I found the hubcap. I believe it goes right there. Now it's complete. I bet there's a couple more in there. I'll check the hole. I might not be finding a lot of uh, coinage yet, but here's a little schoolhouse up here, part of it. And this is a hillside. And I found this not too long ago, right over here. But look at this. This is awesome here. This is an old bottle. Whitmore, Boston, USA. Tangle Tangle is gonna be mad if this is a little bottle dump area. Here's another one. But this bottle dates back, folks. Boston, USA. This, this school dates back. Like I said, if you watch episode 17, old 77 really tells you the history. But here's another one sticking out of the ground. Is it whole? Ah, it's broken. I ran over here with the detector and it was picking up a little signal, but just makes the trip right here. This bottle is sweet. Let me keep looking. Maybe there's some more hidden in the ground. Not at two. This is the Oakland Chemical Company. It has a symbol right on it. Right in the middle. Not a scratch on this one either. That's cool too. But this one is pretty cool. This is awesome. Like I said, I just saw this little slab one sticking out and I said there must be old bottles around here. And this one would have been an old probably uh, chemical bottle too. I'm going to rake the leaves here very gently. See if I can find some more on the surface. All right. Finding something for the, uh, the courtyard of the old school. But I don't know if you can see that right top of that weather vane. 
love to have that thing. That's an old sailing ship. I hope you can make it out. But you can see that too. This is a cell phone tower or something, or maybe a, for law enforcement. But it's been causing havoc on my machine, making it jump up and down, up and down. So that's why a lot of this area I couldn't really metal detect because it was bouncing around on my machine. So I went in down in the hill this way, but I'm not done yet. I gotta go back to the Jeep and put some of my stuff back in and get a drink of water. I'll be All right, folks, Monk Cheetah back here with today's wrap up. It started to rain out, so I have to do the wrap up in the old homestead house. And this is my finds that I got today on Veterans Day. So thank you to all the veterans out there, the ones that are serving and the ones that have served. Well, let me start with my new truck that I found. And I also found the two hubcaps, but it's missing the back tires. Those things rang up pretty darn good, like 85. Uh, and I got the usual suspects of the aluminum garbage. I got the spoon. I found two of these. I'm not sure they rang up good, the washers. I found a 40 ounce Budweiser cap and the old rusty cap, I'm not sure what that could have been from. I found what I think is a file, I'm not sure. And believe it or not, I got the old pork chop oxen shoe and this piece of iron. And this was interesting. I'm not really sure. I thought maybe it could have been a thing for a scale, but I don't know. But I guess the best finds of the day were the bottles, which I didn't expect to find. I cleaned up a little bit of them. I cleaned them up a little bit. This one, Whitmore, Boston, USA. And this one is the chemical bottle, the Oakland Chemical Corporation, which is pretty cool. And I found this, in which I believe it says baby. So I think it was probably a lid to baby food back then. Nice glass, no, no nicks and nothing. And there's just another piece of glass that I can investigate and find out the year. Uh, J.W.B. Beasley and Sons, New York, USA. And I also found this, which was pretty interesting. It had like a gold tint to it. It was a safety pin, but I think it was probably had a name tag on it because of the old school. Not sure. Well, I hope you enjoyed the hunt. And like I say, you never know what you're going to find when you take a walk in the woods of New England. Monk Judah and me, I'm out. And again, thank you veterans for everything you guys do.